Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to take a close-up look on the new markers that have been released by Atonic Studios. These are from their Nuvo collection and although they had a range of their alcohol markers, they have come up with new colors. By the way, I wasn't paid to do this review, so this is an honest review and I do have another one on the colors that have been released about a year ago and you will find a link at the end of the video as well as down below. So these are alcohol markers, they come in sets of three and they really make uh, your life easier in terms of choosing which colors go with which ones and how to blend them together. So in this color wheel we can, you can see the colors that have been released about a year ago. So they came up with sets of markers that um, complement this color wheel and they complete it by adding colors in between the ones that they already had. But before we take a close-up look on the colors, let's take a close-up look on the barrel. So this is the barrel from the first release. I like that it is tapered and you can easily tell which side is which, but there was a hiccup. There wasn't a number written on the barrel, so it was easy for me to mix up the cups and um, put the wrong cup to the wrong marker. That's why I had to write down the number with a black marker. Now the color number and uh, the color swatch was uh, written only at the top of the cup and that's why I had to create this band of color around the cup just to make sure that I don't mix up things. You will find the video at the end where I point out all these uh, problems and uh, the pro positives and the negatives of uh, the first release. Now let's take a close-up look on the new markers. So I'm going to take out uh, the markers from this set and you can see that uh, they have fixed these issues which makes me super happy. So you can see you get a label with the number and the color on the cup but you also get it on the barrel which makes my life easy. I don't have to do anything with these markers, just lay them down and you are ready to go. Uh, one thing that I love about these barrels is that uh, by just looking at them you can easily tell which side is the chisel tip and which size is the fine tip. Now I'm going to swatch all the colors that I have and I'm going to put this video in fast forward and as I'm doing that I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the features. And every time I'm using markers from a set you will be able to see the name of the set on your screen. Later in this video, after I uh, complete swatching all the colors, I will put each set into test and I will try out how uh, the markers from each set blend together. Alcohol markers can be very expensive, especially when we talk about Copics, but these alcohol markers are uh, very inexpensive. You can get a set of three markers for less than $6, and if they are on sale, you can get them for even less. I have linked down below to different shops, both in the US and in the UK, where you can get these markers, and they are on sale as well, so make sure to check and find out the best price. However, keep in mind that these markers are not refillable. But also I need to point out that uh, you can blend alcohol markers no matter which brand they are. And um, don't be afraid if you have different brands to mix them up together and uh, create your very own uh, color combos. Now, because I don't want to bore you to death, you will be able to see now the full color wheel completed. You haven't seen me swatch the Honey Amber and the Pebble Beach. And also I have a set that I don't have. It was sold out when I got my markers. This is the Aquamarine. As you can see, these are gorgeous colors and I can tell why it was sold out. However, it is available now and I'm absolutely going to grab it because I want to complete my color uh, collection. Now, in the collection there are 57 colors in total, plus set with the black, this grey and uh, the blender, which comes in one set, and there is also this set with the three metallics, the copper, the gold and the silver, which I'm missing because I think my daughter got it to use it on some uh, of her own projects and I couldn't find it at the moment. So now let's move on and start making uh, some uh, swatches on how these sets blend together. Here is a swatch of uh, the colors that have been released the previous year and I did this uh, swatch while I was filming that review video. You will find that link at the end. Now for coloring all these leaves I will use three markers from the same set so you can see how nicely they blend together. 
I am following always the same process, so I'm covering up the leaf with the lightest color, then move on to the middle color, and then to the darker one, and back again all the way to the lighter color. And every time I'm using a different set, you can see the name of the set on your screen. I'm not uh, making a big effort to blend them together, so you can see how they blend just by adding a few brush strokes, and I find that they blend really nice together. I'm really happy with the results, and I think that they made a good job of picking three colors that they will blend nicely together for each and every one of those sets. Now, if you are an avid colorer and you love alcohol markers, then of course a good choice is to go with Copics because they are the top in alcohol markers. They are refillable and they have so many more advantages and a huge range of colors. But keep in mind that they are a big investment, so if you are a beginner or if you don't want to invest as much on uh, uh, markers, then uh, these Nouveau markers are a great way to go. They are not overwhelming to work with just because they come in sets of three, so by buying a set you know that everything is going to blend nicely together. If you are starting out with alcohol markers, remember to buy just a few sets, for example greens and uh, reds and oranges, so you can color flowers for example, try them out, find, it, find out if you like this coloring medium and then invest to more sets. Now if you even have uh, markers from other brands and you want to expand your color range, then you can always grab a couple of sets from this brand. Remember all alcohol markers blend beautifully together as long as they are alcohol markers. Now another tip that you need to keep in mind is uh, to work on uh, paper that is alcohol friendly, otherwise it's not going to blend nicely, it's going to bleed all over the place and um, you will not get beautiful results as I am having here. And I still need to grab the aquamarine set so I have a leaf there ready to go and swatch my set when it arrives. If you need photos of all the swatches that I made today, you will find everything you need on my blog post. And if you want a printout of the color wheel that I used to swatch all my markers, I'll have a link on my blog post as well. I hope this video was helpful to decide if these markers are for you or not, or if you want to grab a specific set and you wanted to see how these colors blend. You will find all the links that you need down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you next time.